Next week on EastEnders, Patrick learns about Yolanda's traumatic assault, Cindy's secrets are exposed, George faces a devastating diagnosis, Billy confronts his estranged father, and Amy grows jealous. Yolanda finally opens up to Patrick about her ordeal, while George discovers a brain condition. Cindy struggles with her son's anger over her secret keeping, and Billy grapples with his father's presence. Amy feels sidelined as Denzel bonds with a new friend. Five EastEnders spoilers for next week, Patrick finds out the truth and George has a horrifying diagnosis. In addition, Amy becomes envious, Billy loses faith in his father Stevie, and Cindy is revealed to have been hiding secrets. Some readers may find the discussion of sexual assault in this article upsetting. Next week on EastEnders, several of our faves from Walford are in for a thrilling week. The Walford mainstay Patrick Truman will learn the truth about his cherished soulmate Yolanda's horrific sexual assault at the hands of serial abuser Pastor Clayton in a dramatic two-hander episode that airs next week. In other news, George Knight is still grieving the loss of his adopted mother Gloria Knight until this week, when medical specialists give him some unsettling information. What follows in this week's BBC One soap opera storylines? The episodes that will show on Monday, May 6, 2024, through Thursday, May 9, 2024, have the following spoilers. Five spoilers for next week's episode of EastEnders, 1. Patrick Truman finds out about Yolanda's trauma. On Monday, Patrick's worries about Yolanda, who is becoming more and more aloof and emotional, only intensify when Sonia Fowler discloses that Yolanda missed her scheduled medical visit, which Patrick was unaware of. When Yolanda's loved ones discover that she is missing from the new food van launch, her passion project, Denise Fox becomes increasingly concerned. Consequently, Patrick inadvertently contacts her assailant, Pastor Clayton, who is the worst person to assist. The evil pastor makes a suggestion to Patrick that Yolanda might not be getting well, which causes Patrick to raise similar worries with Yolanda, who is shocked that he discussed her with Pastor Clayton. But on Tuesday, Yolanda begs her friend Elaine Peacock to tell Patrick the truth as she can't bring herself to do it herself. Elaine tells a shocked Patrick over the phone what happened to Yolanda. Yolanda withdraws to the toilet after Patrick ends the call and tries to speak with his significant other. Yolanda rushes to restrain Patrick as he becomes enraged and goes to face Pastor Clayton in retaliation. After returning home, Yolanda at last confides in Patrick, and they talk about her terrifying encounter. In the end, Yolanda takes a significant choice and informs church authorities about Pastor Clayton's actions. When Pastor Clayton's past victims fail to obtain justice, will Yolanda be able to do the same against him? For assistance and backing about the topics discussed in this piece, visit Hourglass and End Violence Against Women. 2. George Knight receives a grave prognosis when George's daughters tell him at the start of the week that his nasty adopted father Eddie Knight conducted Gloria's funeral without telling him, George is horrified. George, who is having emotional difficulties, contacts Rufus, the organizer of underground fights, to set up his upcoming match. Gina and Anna, in the meantime, take the initiative to plan their family memorial for Gloria. Anna even invites their half-brother, Junior Knight who is still not on good terms with their father. But on the day of the memorial, Junior doesn't show up for his family, and George arrives with horrific injuries from his most recent battle. Things get out of control as George gets lightheaded and almost passes out. George's ex-wife Cindy Beale and friend Phil Mitchell encourage him to visit the hospital since they are aware of the way he has been managing his emotional suffering. After being examined, George has a CAT scan, and the results reveal that he now has a brain ailment that is frequently associated with repetitive head trauma. George receives a warning with the diagnosis that he could die from another severe head injury. 3. Cindy Beale's secret keeping is revealed to Lane and the girls are furious to hear about George's most recent fighting adventures and that Cindy was aware of exactly what had been going on, as if the diagnosis wasn't heartbreaking enough. But when Cindy returns to Walford, she sees George meeting with Rufus to set up yet another potentially fatal altercation. Gina and Anna, who are upset with their mother for lying, won't talk to her at first, but towards the end of the week, they decide to have lunch with her. Cindy promises not to let George fight again as they converse. George and Cindy have a heated discussion at the conclusion of the week during which he furiously refuses her requests that he undergo online therapy for his trauma. George reconsiders after more conversation and decides to check himself into therapy. 
On the other hand, George eventually tells Cindy about his plans to have another fight with Rufus the following week while he is alone himself. Cindy gives George an ultimatum in response. Will it be sufficient, whatever it is, to convince George to back out of his potentially lethal fight? For, Billy Mitchell refuses to back down from his estranged father Stevie next week, despite attempts by his fiancée Honey to convince him otherwise, Billy Mitchell is certain that he does not want his estranged father Stevie Mitchell anywhere near his family. But Stevie, eager to get to know them more, meets his great-granddaughter Lexi Pierce and his grandchildren Will and Janet in the cafe. However, Billy is met with resistance from Honey again when he goes to the Vic in a fit of rage to warn Stevie away after learning about this lunchtime rendezvous. As the week goes on, Billy ignores Honey's entreaties for the kids to see Stevie and becomes enraged upon discovering that Will has met his grandfather in secret. Billy nearly loses control after a confrontation with his son for defying him, and he then starts to worry that he is becoming more and more like his abusive father. Billy's cousin Phil suggests that he get in closer contact with Stevie to find out exactly what he wants in Walford after the encounter. Billy asks Stevie what he wants when they go out for a drink, even though the idea unnerves him. Stevie says he's an aging lonely man who wants nothing more from life than to be near his family. Ultimately, when Honey and the kids get home later, they are astonished to see Stevie and Billy there. Has Billy, Stevie's kid, really come around? Is he someone to trust? 5. Amy Mitchell finds her new buddy, Denzel Danes, attractive. Denzel Dane schedules a workout with Ebony, a young female influencer, since he is still fixated with his physical appearance and level of fitness. Naturally, Denzel's neglectful girlfriend Amy Mitchell is not happy about him spending so much time with another woman. Will Denzel be able to permanently push Amy away? George Knight of EastEnders will have a diagnosis that will change his life. His family has been heartbroken. Next week, George Knight of EastEnders is going to get a health diagnosis that could change his life. George's next big week could start disastrously when he finds out from his daughters that Eddie arranged Gloria's burial without telling him. Feeling conflicted about this, George calls Rufus to set up a brawl. Gina and Anna, who are worried about their father, decide to assist George cope with his grief by hosting a memorial service for Gloria in the Vic. They even invite their half-brother Junior to attend. George is recovering from severe injuries sustained in his struggle the previous evening on the day of Gloria's memorial. Gina and Anna are upset that Junior is not coming, but things worsen when George experiences vertigo and nearly passes out. When Cindy and Phil realize what's going on, they urge that George visit the hospital. After giving George a CAT scan when they get there, the medical professionals learn that he has a brain ailment connected to frequent head trauma. When the doctor warns George that he could die from a single blow, the situation becomes more dire. Elaine and the girls became enraged upon learning that George has been having covert fights, and Cindy was fully aware of them. Cindy finds herself in a difficult situation when she later sees George being contacted by Rufus, who offers him the money from last night and another fight. The fact that Gina and Anna won't talk to her because they are upset that she has been hiding George's boxing secret makes her difficulties much worse. After a while, they decide to have lunch together, and Cindy makes a vow to persuade George to stop fighting. Cindy then strikes up a heated discussion with George, who at first turns down her offer of using internet counseling to help him deal with his intense feelings. After she finally talks George into it, Cindy is relieved, but when he's by himself, he calls Rufus to schedule a fight for the next week. Cindy throws him an ultimatum after he tells her what he plans to do, but will this be sufficient to get him to change his mind? Please subscribe our channel.